Very good morning, everyone, and welcome to the briefing for Friday, the 28th of July. So the unsettled weather continues. I've got the midday chart on here, and it's uh, just showing this weakening cold front over the top of us. Um, ice spars becoming a little bit closer together as this low pressure system gets closer. Uh, going ahead to midnight tonight, we see actually that uh, weakening cold front appears to have not really moved at all. So I'm hoping it's going to be a pretty weak feature and um, not really bring with it too much rain. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Looking ahead to tomorrow, um, that potentially something to be had in the afternoon after this um, fluid front goes through. Uh, otherwise unsettled and further ahead. Um, picture changing a little bit, but still unsettled with various low pressure systems in the Atlantic and frontal activity. Spot winds today um, towards the centre of the country is up to 3-0, a little bit more westerly on the south coast, about 15 to 20 knots. And the current sat pick uh, shows a cloudy start, but with sort of sunny intervals. Um, and it is looking like it's breaking up uh, sort of more down to the west which is a good sign. Rain radar is picking up a uh, little bit of rain out to the west of us, and the forecast is showing the chance of uh, sort of drizzle this morning. Uh, but going ahead, looks like it's drying out this afternoon with the potential of a shower um, sort of around midday. And then further ahead into the afternoon, some scattered showers around, uh, but it appears they're mostly uh, north of Lasham, so hopefully we should be okay there. Public forecast then shows a pretty cloudy day with that chance of rain about midday. Um, temperature reaching about 18 degrees. Uh, that wind from the southwest and gusting sort of around 10 to 15 knots, a little bit stronger later in the afternoon, up potentially up to 20 knots. Quite humid at the moment, um, but drying out a little bit during the morning. Uh, GFS is a little bit more optimistic. It reckons we're going to get 20, 22 degrees. Um, I think that's probably unlikely with the forecast cloud cover. And it's picking dew points around about 14, 15. And that's the current view outside. A little bit more broken up than we had yesterday. Um, at the moment, the cloud looks a little bit on the low side, but hopefully that's going to be breaking up and raising over the next few hours. Current temperature is 16 degrees with dew points set at 13 and a half. And uh, Farnborough's last report half an hour ago, scattered clouds at 1,200 feet, which is 1,000 feet here. Um, and the forecast, a little bit of everything. Uh, they're hoping it's going to go to 2,000 feet. Um, but they put a tempo in here that's early in the morning uh, and another one that's early in the morning. So the only one that's actually affecting us is just 2,000 feet, which will hopefully come true. Odium again half an hour ago shows broken clouds at 900 feet, which is closer to about 700 feet above Lasham. Uh, and their forecast, they've got a prop 40 for up to 1 p.m. of clouds at 800 feet. Uh, and that's pretty much it. They've also put a, a prop 30 of broken clouds at two and a half. So they're covering themselves there, but I think on the whole it should be okay by the time we get out there. So your potential flight distance for the day is not a lot in the Lasham area, especially if we're up to the north. Um, looking at thermals, from about midday onwards, it's showing the potential for some convection up to 3,000 feet, uh, but with overdevelopment and Lasham really on the edge of a sort of area where there isn't much at all. So there may be something to be had there. Uh, looking at the site forecast, yeah, we see some thermals from about midday onwards, um, potentially best at about three o'clock, uh, up to about two and a half to three thousand feet in the afternoon. Uh, no TAMs, um, to be honest, I don't think people are going to be going cross country. So there's nothing immediately in the Lasham area. If you are going up to the northwest, there's some um, temporary airspace uh, from Bryce onwards, or actually a little bit before Bryce onwards. Uh, but there's no point going into that because I don't think it's really going to affect anyone. Um, and that's pretty much that. So operationally, with that southwesterly wind, uh, we're set up on 2-3. Launch point in a fairly normal position. And winch down here shouldn't need to be offset too far. And aerotone from the other side of the runway as normal. 
Uh, I haven't been notified of any jet movement, so it should be a reasonably straightforward day. Uh, I'll see you out there. Bye for now.